Hello and uh, welcome in this video about Winter's model. Uh, Winter's model is the model we use when there is a trend, a level and a seasonal factor. Please recall Holt's model. In Holt's model we only have a trend and a level and no seasonal factor. So if uh, the demand in your supply chain does have a level a trend and a seasonal factor in their uh, syst syst systematic component, then you use Winter's uh, model. Uh, recall you in a forecast we got a systematic component and a random component. We only uh, forecast on syst system systemic um, component and not on the random component. The random component itself will be the forecast error. Forecast error itself we will come across in uh, later videos. Um, when we got the uh, time trend and seasonality corrected exponential smoothing, we got an uh, alpha, a beta, and a gamma. The alpha we always use with level, the beta we always use with trend and the gamma we always use with uh, seasonality. Please um, recall that and do not use the alpha, beta and gamma um, otherwise. Um, we use this, um, uh, these formulas to calculate the, uh, the forecast and it's always the forecast after the period of this calculation. So for example, if um, here we calculate a level for period 1, the trend for period 1, then that means that we are uh, focusing on the forecast for uh, period 2. So if this is 1, 1, then the forecast is 2. The um, seasonality itself is a bit of a strange one, as this is time plus p plus 1. Please recall earlier, um, uh, earlier videos about the, uh, the periodicity. Uh, for example, if uh, your seasonality has four periods, then the P here is four. Uh, for example, you got four quarters in a year, then the periodicity will be four. If you are calculating here in weeks, then the periodicity will be 52. Please recall that the uh, periodicity you use here is always the same period as you calculate here. So if we are calculating here with period 1, then the seasonality will be period 5, as that is period 1, 2, 3, 4 in one periodicity, and then period 5 will be more or less the same as period 1 in the earlier years. That's why we use period 5 here as we use quarters. When this would be weeks and we want to calculate for um, the level for, for week 1, the trend for week 1, then here we use the seasonality for week 53, as week 53 resembles week 1. Um, in this uh, example, we use uh, Winter's model, and we use Winter's model as, um, as observed here. When we go here to the blackboard, we got um, a level 1, a trend 1, and a season 1. These all are given. The level um, 
zero and the trend zero are um, uh, can be acquired through um, regression analysis. Regression analysis is a statistic we do not cross in supply chain management. In this case it is given. The level zero is 18,439, the trend is 524. The uh, seasonality in the first quarter is 0.47. So the forecast for uh, period one is the level for period zero, the trend for period zero times the seasonality for period one. Um, uh, so that is 18,439 plus uh, 524 times 0.47. The forecast for uh, period 1 is 8,913. Please, um, uh, please recall that if you got a periodicity of 4, then the uh, the summation of all the trends should be 4 also. If your uh, seasonality has 52 weeks, then this all will add up for 52. If that is not the case, please uh, re, um, re evaluate your uh, seasonal factors as they are incorrect. They all should resemble the same, um, uh, the same periodicity. Um, now it is important that we uh, come up with an, um, a forecast for period one. So I'm sorry, a forecast for period two. We got here the forecast for period one. So now we want to calculate it for period two. I've already um, uh, uh, rewritten the standardized formulas. I've rewritten the standardized formulas for level, trend and seasonality. We, as we are going to calculate the forecast for uh, period 2, we calculate the level for period 1, alpha, um, beta and gamma. And we're going to fill in these, um, these formulas. So level 1 is alpha and alpha was given and alpha is 0.1. Times demand 1. Demand 1 is also given and it is 8,000. 8,000 we divide by the seasonality of period 1, that is 0.47. Plus 1 minus alpha 1 times Level zero was 18,439 and the trend was 524. So um, this is how you calculate the level for period one. The level for period one is therefore 18,700. 18,769. Now we're going to calculate the trend for period one. Trend period one is beta. Beta is given and beta is 0.2. Times the level uh, one. Please um, recall we just 
uh, came up with, um, uh, with level 1. That was 18,769. So you do have to calculate this formula before you can use the later formulas. Eighteen thousand seven hundred nine minus the level um, came up with um, regression analysis that was eighteen thousand four hundred and thirty nine. Plus one minus beta one point two times the trend, and the trend is 524. If we calculate uh, this formula, then we come up with uh, 485. So the trend for period 1 we use to calculate the uh, forecast for period 2 is 485. Now we have to calculate S5. S5 is gamma. Gamma is given as 0 0.1 times the demand for 1. The demand for 1 is given and it was 8000 and we divide that by the level 1. Level 1 again is this one 18,769 plus 1 minus gamma times the seasonality for period 1. Seasonality for period 1 is given and it was 0.47. So now we came up with the seasonality for period 5 and the seasonality for period 5 is 0 0.47. Um, 0 0.47 for S5 is the same as the 0 0.47 for, for S1. That does not need to be. If the seasonality itself stays the same, then probability is high that the 0.47 in S5 will be more or less the same as S1. But that does not need to be. So it is not, uh, it is not given. Um, now we, we end up with forecast for... Uh, period 2. Forecast for period 2 is level for period 1. We calculate it here and that is 18,769 plus the trend is 485 times the seasonality for uh, period 2. Seasonality for period 2 is 0 0.68 and that will end up with a forecast of 13,000 093 so in this case the forecast for um, uh, for your second uh, season for your second period is 13,093 and 13,093 is the um, is the amount of units your supply chain will be working with as this is demand given by your uh, your forecasted demand for your customer um, please recall earlier uh, videos this is uh, on an aggregate level and will not be on a stock keeping unit level. This will be on a product family level as 
uh, when you uh, increase the, the aggregate level, it's better to forecast. Please refer to earlier videos about that. Um, this is the explanation about Winter's model. Winter's model can be used when there is a level, a trend and a seasonality. If you've got only a level and a trend, you use Holt's model as, you, as explained in earlier videos. Um, thank you for watching. If you got any uh, trouble with it, please contact me and uh, I hope to see you again in later videos.